there. This is Samich, and welcome back to Feed the Beast. Last time, we made ourselves a turtle after going caving in this mineshaft. And he is currently down there, not doing anything. Okay. What did I do? Why aren't you moving? Oh, it's probably because I logged off. So uh, let's go ahead and steal his stuff. Pick him up and bring him back to the top. And let's plop him down right over here. Turtle, 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 turtle. All right. Excavate five. Out of fuel. Oh crap, I didn't name it. I forgot you need to name the turtle for it to keep its fuel between when you pick it up. Uh, ID set turtle one. ID check turtle one. Set ID turtle one. Crap. Uh, ID set turtle one with no space. Okay, ID set ID name ID turtle one with nothing. ID label. Oh, here we go. Label set turtle one. I spelled label wrong because I'm an idiot. It will set turtle one. Okay. Now let's test this. Fuel. Fuel levels 80. So break it and put it back down and it should still be 80. Refuel. Yes. Okay. Let's fuel it with our coal coke, because that's pretty much just better coal, and we can't use it for uh, torches. And let's give it a bunch of this. 1,040 moves, that's plenty. Okay. Excavate, five. Perfect. So it's doing what it should be doing. While it's off doing that in its magical land of magicalness, I'm gonna go and grab some trees. While I'm here, let me take my bones and my one sapling, where is it? Did I lose my rubber tree sapling? I may have lost my rubber tree sapling. That's disappointing. Well, I'm going to go need to find a rubber tree and a sapling of a rubber tree. So, let's go do that while we go get some wood. Because we're running low on wood and this guy can go ahead and mine for us while we're away. As long as we stay in the same general area. While I was away, I looked up quartz tools. Doesn't really say much about them on the interwebs, but uh, it says they're about as good as iron. So I'm going to trust that to mean that they are about as good as iron. Why am I in a cave? I was going to get wood. Whatever. I'll just grab this stuff and leave. And in addition to wood, I need food. I'm running low. I need a sustainable food source. And I'm thinking what I want to do is get corn. And I believe you can just get corn from grass. So I'm going to punch some grass and look for corn kernels. While I am looking for my, uh, for some wood. That's normal wheat seeds. That'll do, in case uh, I don't find any corn kernels. 
punching grass while he has a shovel on his bar like a boss. Alright, let's grab some wood up here. Again, the problem with the turtle is if the chunk's not loaded, the turtle will just stop. So, you're going to want to make a chunk loader or a world anchor as soon as you can. Hello, chicken. There's a different type of river tree. I don't believe I mentioned this one. Or I have mentioned it, but I don't believe we've seen one yet. So I shall go ahead and explain it. Now see, this kind of tree, you'll notice has a little goopy thing on the side. That is sticky resin. And you can proceed to use a tree tap to pull the sticky resin off of the tree. Which is cool and useful. And what's even better is the sticky resin will regrow. Meaning, hey, I did another rubber tree meaning that uh, you can make the trees grow, punch all the leaves, and it'll just keep growing your uh, sticky resin on the side, which you then turn into uh, rubber. But that's not what we are going to do quite yet. Well, we are. We're going to plant some saplings from it. And hopefully... a rubber tree farm going. Is that a corn kernel? No. Crap. Maybe corn kernels are a very specific type of seed. Or a specific biome that you need to punch the seeds in. I honestly don't know. I should look that up. Because corn's a pretty useful thing to grow. Corn and uh, potatoes are two of my favorite food sources. Potatoes are vanilla, and corn is feed the beast, some kind of mod and feed the beast. How's our little turtle doing down there? I can't see him, but the chunk should be loaded, so I'm going to assume that he is busy working. I'm going to torch things up over here so things stop dropping in on me. Grab this kappa. So wood. Very good. We got a bunch of the other type of rubber tree saplings now. The type that I'm not a huge fan of because I like this kind better. Or no. Wait. No, this isn't the type I like better. What? I'm confused. Whatever. I need wool. Like, I need to find a sheep and, like, make a bed. some saplings. Are these the kind I like? Nah, this is the kind I like. This kind right here. Rubber tree sapling. That is the kind that uh, grows the sticky resin on the side. So I'm going to place torches up here. Kill this chicken. Grab his flesh and make my way back down to my house. And hopefully things should stop dropping down from the ceiling on top of us. How's our turtle doing down there? I hear a skeleton. Oh, phone saying things. And he's doing a pretty good job down there, grabbing things for me. Has he put anything in the chest yet? No, he has not. But that's cool. Just means his inventory hasn't gotten full yet, which is a good thing. So, now while that guy works... Gonna go ahead and start cooking us this kind of, this kind of rubber. And tell you what my plan is for this episode. My first thing I want to do is get us a generator. Which is the basic of the basics. Basically this thing will generate power for us. And generating power for us is good. So I can either make it with an iron furnace, three refined iron, and an RE battery. An iron furnace is just five pieces of iron in a row to get a furnace. Iron furnaces are basically more efficient furnaces. You know how coal normally cooks eight things? 
an iron furnace coal will cook uh, um, 10 things. But the most efficient way to do this is with a furnace, a machine block, which is eight refined iron, and an RE battery. So while this is cooking, get another piece of coal in here. I'm going to need to cook iron. I'm going to need eight pieces of iron cooking. So let's get that going and throw crap into these chests. Man, my chests are already full. Well, I have this wood. Let me go ahead and make a barrel, because that's what I wanted all this wood for. Can I do it with rubber wood? No. Okay, so let's get that out of here. How about this rubber wood? Nope. Okay, I have to use real wood. Real world wood. This is a barrel. And barrels, oops, threw that on the ground. Barrels are pretty awesome. Basically what they do is they hold 94 stacks of one item. So this one I'm going to make hold all of my cobblestone, which, because of the turtle, I'm going to... Yeah, stop it. Because of the turtle, I'm going to have a lot of. Basically, you right-click a few times, and it throws all of it in your inventory in there. Or you can right-click once and just throw the stack you have on it. And if you shift left-click, you get one item. If you just left-click, you get a stack. Pretty cool things. I'm going to go check to see my turtle's progress, see if it's filled this chest yet. It has not. And how's it going down there? Looks like it's going pretty good. Looks like it cut into the mine shaft a little bit, that's cool. So yeah, the rubber has stopped. Now we're going to need to cook 8 iron. As well as make ourselves a furnace. And like I said, I'm trying to avoid using uh, as much iron as possible until I get my macerator, which is also something I'm going to be planning on making today. Then you need an RE battery, which you can't click on in this crafting menu because it's got the stupid charge on it. So RE battery, four tin, two redstone, and a copper cable. Tin's easy, redstone's easy, what about the copper cable? six rubber, three copper ingots makes six. So what we're going to need is three copper and four tin. Do I have any tin? There we go. One, two, three, four. Oh, I forgot to mention how to make refined iron, which I will do while in a second. Find iron is actually very easy. Boom, got my iron ingots. Smelt it again. That's all there is to it. And you will get yourself some refined iron. So while this is working, I'm going to make another chest. Throw it down here. storage space and throw the crap that I don't need in here. Keep the wood, throw the slab. And that I'm going to need. How's this going? Still smelting. Alrighty then, let's take a look at our turtle. Anything gonna come and kill me? Good. How's he doing down there? Looks like he's doing pretty good. Hmm. The turtle breaking block animation looks weird. Up, oh, he filled it up for us. Lots of goodies. And a lot of cobblestone, which is exactly why I wanted to make this cobblestone barrel. 
to get rid of all of it fast. I'm going to take one stack out and start tossing in the crap that... I only need 410. Crap that I don't currently need. I'm probably going to need to make a dirt barrel at some point too. Okay, this is done. Smelt the tin, smelt the uh, copper. While that little bit's smelting, I'm going to grab a bit of marble. So as I mentioned before, I like this stuff and I'm going to want to build with it. I hear things. Uh, this stuff's amber. I have no idea what it's used for, but it's it's something. Okay, now throw in the copper, and that should be fine. Well, that's cooking up. Keep grabbing some marble. Ooh, get ourselves some tin, some goodies. That stuff hurts you if you step on it. I don't know why. This is also a kind of quartz crystal. So there are a lot of types of quartz in this game. I don't know if the vanilla quartz is actually in this game. Yeah, the vanilla quartz, the quartz that's in the vanilla game in the nether, is not in this mod pack. That is something that has been removed. So, let's go ahead and make our copper cables. Booyakasha. And now I need that for my RE battery, which is two redstone, four tin, and the copper cable. Let's go ahead and get my redstone out. Redstone, copper cable, four tin, We've got ourselves a battery. And now for the generator, we need the machine block, a furnace, the whoops, the RE battery on top, and we made ourselves a generator. Now this little guy, pretty cool. You put stuff in and it generates power. Not gonna put anything in there yet. Cause we don't need power yet. Now a good thing to make is a bat box, which I will show you now. Bat box. Hmm. Which is copper cable, three RE batteries, and birch wood. But I'm trying to refrain from making RE batteries with tin until I can macerate it. So, macerator. I forgot you needed diamonds for this. Uh, wait, there are other options. I can also... Oh, how do I stop this? Fuck, what did I do? I think I pressed the button to make me show how to make an electronic circuit. Or did I? Wait, what did I just do? Okay, stop. Okay, so electronic circuits, I can... Three of those. A machine block. Either a Wolframium or a Diamond Grinder. Oh, that's actually worse. I forgot you needed diamonds for the Macerator. Let me see if it would actually be cheaper to make the other option to grind up ore, which is actually a better option. Okay, so... Pulverizer, yeah. The Macerator just gives you dust. The Pulverizer gives you dust with also a chance of other goodies, which in this case is pulverized ferrous metal. So let's go see how much the pulverize. Oops, I've accidentally double clicked on that. Pulverizer. That is significantly easier, it looks like. Pistons, easy. Machine frame, not horrible. Redstone, can I, yeah, this is easy. But do I have gold? Is the question. I don't have gold. But I'll probably get some from my turtle. 
So let's instead focus on doing the other things. First the piston. So we'll need one iron ingot for the piston. Uh, four iron for that. So we need five iron and two copper total. So let's go ahead and get that. Two copper and five iron. Again, attempting to not... Where's my iron? Do I not have any iron left? Oh, there it is. Five. That was four. Five. Okay. Again, trying to preserve my iron as much as possible until I can pulverize it. How's my turtle doing down there? He looks like he hit some water, which is cool. Prevent things from spawning down there. working. Let me expand my little hole here a little bit because eventually all of these machines are going to get encumbering. Put the copper in there. Okay. And redstone induction coil. So I will also need two gold. Do I have any flint or gravel? I have gravel, so I can just farm that for the flint. So let's go see if our turtle got us some gold. Are you done? Did he hit bedrock? I guess he hit bedrock. Okay, good boy, turtle. And he got us a bunch of crap. A bunch of crap's good. So let's go ahead and all of our cobble in there, then take the stack. And let's see how our turtle is doing on fuel, if he needs more fuel. Fuel level is 45. That might be why he stopped. It's not because he was dumb, but because he was low on fuel. I doubt it. Wait, what just... Hmm. Squid just died fell from the heavens. Coke, coke. Let's get you to refuel. Let's just give you all, all let's just give you all the coal coke. Why not? And grab it. Mine. Okay. Grab this chest. We'll set you up in another location better location up on the surface so you can get more things. And then we will go look for iron ourselves in this, or not iron, gold ourselves to make our pulverizer. Okay, so turtle, turtle. I like turtles. And where's our chest? Chest. Awesome. Excavate. Five. Okay, so he's going to be going five again because... Whoa, something shot me. Hello. I'm going to kill you. I don't have a lot of chest space in this chest. And another thing that I may not have mentioned is that uh, you can make better chests rather than just the uh, normal chests. You can make chests out of gold, out of diamond, out of iron. But right now we are looking for diamond, or er, iron. And diamond. Or er, gold. Gold and diamond. Hello. This little hole looks like it goes down pretty far. So let's grab some things. 
gonna ignore the uh, Zychordite blocks or Zychordite ores because, again, very tiny inventory space right now, and I can just come back and grab them later. Gold, exactly what we needed. Get some sapphires too. How much gold is this? I need three or two, so, yep, and it's enough, yay. My inventory's full of, okay, get rid of the rotten flesh. Nobody ever needs rotten flesh. Let's get back to the surface and get this gold cooking so I can make my pulverizer. This is an interesting rail placement. That doesn't hurt me, which is good. There's an egg down here. So that hole went down to bedrock, it looks like. It's hard to tell, but it looks like it did. In fact, I should make that chest up there a double chest. I can't believe I didn't think of that. Oh my fucking god, get rid of this coarse crystal. They're all over the fucking place, who needs them? I don't even know what they're used for. I'm sure they're used for something, I just don't know what it is. Okay, so let's double chest this up. See how our turtle's doing. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Uh. No. Stop. <laughs> Glad I checked on to him to see how he was doing. Okay, let's get this crap out of here. here, I guess. Some torches on top so things don't spawn in it. Turtles. Really useful. Just don't do anything stupid. Okay, so let's go ahead and Smelt this gold for one thing. We can find another place to put this turtle that won't involve him destroying my base. anything in there, so that's good. Let's throw him... He needs to be near my base so that he can uh, still be in the chunk. Let's throw him in here, our little starter base. Okay, so he definitely won't destroy anything, because I... There's a chicken in here. Minecraft sounds have been strange for me lately. I don't know what's wrong with them, but... I can probably get away with making him excavate... Seven. Let's make him excavate seven. Let's give him some coal, too. Not all the coal, but some coal. I was 
hoping to make that open up to the ceiling so that light would shine down during the day, but that's fine. This will probably may be somewhere in the giant hole that I'm currently residing. Heck, it might pop it out onto the thing he already excavated, which would be annoying. Okay, what was I doing? Smelting gold. Why was I smelting gold? To make a pulverizer. So, first thing we need is a machine frame, which is iron, gold, and glass. How much glass do I have? I think I used all of the glass for... No. There you go, make me some glass. So while that's cooking, we need a piston, which I need redstone for. Piston. Another cool thing, if you shift click, another cool thing, if you shift click, it should just put the things that you need in the frickin thing, but it's not doing it for some reason. Piston. Now we need the redstone reception coil, which is this, this, this. Oh, I only need two gold. I wasted a couple of gold. That's fine. Now we need the machine frame. Do, 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 do. Machine frame, shift click. Machine frame, shift click. There we go. Machine frame. Now, pulverizer, shift click. I don't have the flint. Okay, let's get some flint. How do you get flint? With gravel. So. There's one. So, pulverizer, shift click, boom! Pulverizer. Now, pulverizers use a different type of energy than the generator produces. The generator produces EU, while the pulverizer uses MJ, which is Minecraft jewels. So, basically, I need an engine that produces Minecraft jewels. And one of the simplest to make is the electrical engine, which basically converts uh, EU to MJ. But there's also one that I've heard is pretty good, the hobbyist steam engine. Which just requires gold nuggets, glass piston, and gold-plated gears. Do I have enough gold nuggets to do that? Yes. Okay, so... Gold nugget, glass piston. Or gold-plated gears. Which requires stone gear, which requires wood gear. Okay. So let's do this backwards. Wood gear. We need two of them. Get this crap out. Stone gear. We need two of them. Gold plated gear. We need two of them. Piston. Now I don't have enough wood. Piston. Piston. Do, do, do. I don't have enough iron, that's why it's not working. So I need to spell one more iron. Unfortunate. Actually, I need three more. I need four iron. For reasons that will become clear once I explain how the hobbyist steam engine works. Okay, what else do I need for this thing? Just the gold and the glass. So once this one piece of iron smelts, I can go ahead and do it. 
piston. Go. Oh my god. Piston. Wood, wood, wood. Iron. Redstone. Cobble, 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 cobble. Piston. Boom, boom, boom. Hobby steam engine. But dumb tish. And now I need a lever. So this thing will work. And I need a bucket to get water. First thing I'm going to do is make an infinite spring down here in my little house. So basically how the hobbyist steam engine works is you put water in it and pull the lever and it will produce MJs. Uh-oh. Aha, landed. That creeper up there looks like he's going to give me a bad time. So with my newfound almost base destroying turtle powers, stick my water bucket here. Get another water bucket and make an infinite spring. And if you're not familiar with Minecraft at all and don't know what an infinite spring is, basically if you put two water source blocks, which are basically I'm getting a bucket of water that is a source block, you can uh, make an infinite spring with them by putting them in a two by two little area in two different corners and have infinite water. So, boom, infinite spring. And now let's pump water into this thing. Let's look at it. We can have one more bucket of water. It can hold 4,000 micro buckets, and each bucket is 1,000. Now let's turn it on. It's not working. Is there any reason it's not working? Do I need coal in here? Yes, I do. That is why it wasn't working. I am very low on coal. Like, severely low on coal. So this thing's cool. It'll work. Let me go find more coal. Like, coal is coal. It should be everywhere, like right here. Well, that starts pumping. There's like a spider coming to kill me, isn't there? And behind the coal, we have a green sapphire. Very nice. Multiple green sapphire. Hello. Oh, my phone's making noises again. I'm sorry that my phone makes noises. Okay, so the coal heats up the water, turns it into steam. Should be obvious, because that's how steam engine... Look at all of those things in there! That is a lot of enemies that I don't want to deal with right now. Okay, so... Doo -doo -doo -doo. Things pumping. Stick some more coal in this, and this thing's gaining power, slowly but surely. And let us take our iron ore, shove it into here, and it will start pulverizing. It's currently losing energy, but once this thing starts powering or speeding up, it'll produce more. I hope. So this will give me pulverized iron, which I can then smelt down and into iron ingots. So basically it's two for the price of one, which is really cool. So right now it's putting out 1.6 MJ per tick, I think. So it's slowly filling this thing up while this thing's pulverizing my iron. Okay, so now we've got pulverized iron woot. Did I throw it in here? What did I do with this? Whatever. This stuff's useful. It's basically double the ore. 
and that's one of the first things I feel that you should go for when you're uh, uh, doing this. So, anyways, that's going to be about it for this video. I'm going to check to see... Ooh, I have made a mistake. Wait, I just heard glass. Oh, that was probably a... Uh, what do you call it? Crystal. One of the stupid quartz crystals. Got me some goodies. That I can't get all... Oh, fuck! Well, I'm down here now. And this is a good way to get to the hole that he is currently digging. That's good to know. So, uh... Oh, you have an enchanted bow. I want to get that. Give me that bow. You didn't drop your bow. What a dick. Anywho, that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys next time.